as the saying goes, laughter is the best medicine. And for Seth Rogen and his wife, Lauren, whose mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, nothing could be more true. Together, these two created Hilarity, Hilarity for Charity. To raise money and awareness for Alzheimer's research, the organization's annual variety show is being streamed, and get this, for the first time on Netflix. And it includes stars like Tiffany Haddish, who is on fire, yes. Sasha Baron Cohen, Sarah Silverman. Y'all are moving on up. Yes. Your, yeah, your event was, <laughs> this changes the ball game, it doesn't sure it? Is. It sure yeah. does. Yeah, how did this come to be with the Netflix uh, part of it? Um, it's a live show we've been doing for yeah. a few years, and uh, we got to know uh, Netflix's head of stand-up comedy because he worked at uh, the Just for Laughs Festival, where we had done a show that went really well. Yeah. And um, when he went over to Netflix, uh, he talked about um, us maybe partnering to bring the show to the streaming audience, um, which was exciting to us, you know, as we're trying to raise awareness. Yeah. Um, mm. It seems like, you know, having access to hundreds of millions of yeah. people is Might a good way to do that. Might be a yeah. good idea. Yeah. <laughs> So you got you just pick up the phone and call your friends basically is what you do, right? Uh, it's hard to organize a charity <laughs> event. No, yeah. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying, but you you can do that. You can yeah, get I call it's me calling a lot of people and and um, yeah, it's a lot of favors. But people in general are very happy to help out and um, seem you know appreciative to be a part of something that is helping other people. Uh, yeah, it's nice. And Lauren, it's such obviously it's so personal for you and for so many other millions of people right. who are out there. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what it has been like being a daughter of, of, of parents with Alzheimer's? I mean, it's been quite a journey. My mom was diagnosed when she was 55, and that was 11 years ago. So wow. as you can imagine, Early we've on. really, yeah, yeah, we've really, you know, gone on quite a journey. As I said, you know, at first we were devastated and, and just had no idea what to do and had no hope whatsoever. But six years ago, when we decided to start this event and started talking about it, suddenly we didn't feel alone. and. Mm -hmm that like there were so many people out there in the same position that we were in and taking action has given us hope where there was none before. And now I feel very uplifted and so lucky to have made such a good thing out of such a sad thing. And do you feel like there are, because Maria Shriver's here a lot, and she always talks about the strides that are being made. And I know as Especially a... Especially research, right? Yeah, and yeah. research. Her, her, She's a child of, of parents with Alzheimer's, and right. she thinks about it for herself. Yeah. Are you, do you feel good about the changes that are being made? I mean, when we started this yeah. journey, talking about it, uh, you know, 10 years ago or so, I felt very devastated. Yeah. These days, I, like I said, I have a lot of hope. There's so much, as you said, great research into prevention yeah. and brain health and... You know, the government, although Alzheimer's is still severely underfunded compared to other major diseases, yeah. the government has gotten behind it and given more funding, which is the only thing that will mm -hmm. eventually lead to a treatment or a cure. So many good causes out there, and, and people um, sometimes are a little afraid to put their money someplace, mm -hmm. so they want to make sure it's going to be spent properly. I know mm -hmm. you guys care a lot about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. I mean, um, funding research uh, is incredibly important to us. And in-home care is something that yeah. um, we've found is incredibly helpful to people. You know, with Lauren's mother, um, one of the only things that's made the situation in any way manageable for her father, who was the primary caretaker, mm, and for the whole family, was that we could afford to have, like, really good in-home care for her right. mother. And so we give out grants to oh. people who can't afford in-home care cool. for them to have in-home care. It is outrageously mm -hmm. expensive. It's yeah. outrageously expensive, and someone with Alzheimer's needs 24 hours a day, seven day a week right. uh, care, basically. And they call it the long goodbye, because it is, isn't mm -hmm. it? It really is. I mean, like I said, we've been on this journey with my mom for 11 years, and... She's very well taken care of, but she is, you know, very advanced. And I like the way how you guys are using comedy because it is such a heavy subject and it can really be difficult, but you guys are using the right tool to uh, do that. It's really the only it's, tool it's we well, have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I keep saying, like, if we were chefs, it would be called It'd baking be. for charity. Like, we just, <laughs> yeah. it's the only resource we have is comedy. Um, I, I sometimes wish I had more, but... I wish we uh, were baking for charity. Exactly. <laughs> it would be so much more we fun. Uh, and Seth, yeah. your mom and dad are here? My are parents here? are here. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Look at Seth's yeah. mom and dad. You, are you and proud they, of him? They seem... Oh, yeah. right. Extremely proud of you. Oh. <laughs> you gave them a microphone? Oh, <laughs> Charity, by the way, is streaming right now on Netflix. Good for you, Netflix. Yeah. Way to go. And thanks, you guys, for thanks being for, with thanks us. Thanks for having me. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.